My name's Austin, my favourite player is Andy Murray. Uh, when I play, I like to mix it up, and the current racket I use is the Babolat Pure Drive. Hi, my name's Liam, my favourite player is Roger Federer. Uh, when I play, I like to change up the pace, and my racket at the moment is the Yonex E-Zone 98. Ground strokes was really nice, there's a lot of weight behind the racket, and so I was able to hit through the ball really easily, really nicely. Yeah, I thought the racket was quite stiff. I found if I wasn't hitting the racket, the ball, the ball right out of the sweet spot of the racket, I wasn't getting the nice shot that I usually like. When I would usually use the pure drive, the sweet spot I found sweet spots a lot bigger than uh, this one, so I found this one quite hard to get a clean shot. With the loads of weight behind it, really solid, not too flimsy like some rackets can be, and um, yeah, solid. Yeah, I thought the serving was okay, it had good control, I felt like I could really swing at it, so I wasn't getting much pace from the racket, I thought I had to uh, generate all the pace myself, but I found the control was quite good. Just for me, I think like, my elbow is a little bit sort of tender, so getting up to the ball, Trying to really accelerate was a little bit too much on the weight, maybe. So I've just dropped down a weight from the rackets I was using. So um, I think a little bit too heavy on the serve, but otherwise, okay. Easy to place the ball wherever I wanted, really, on the court. Um, and I had a good amount of power to go with that as well. So pretty easy, yeah. I've probably used rackets that generate spin a little bit easier, but um, I don't tend to hit with a lot of top spin all the time, so I think this would suit me pretty well, to be honest. Yeah, I found I had lots of control, almost too much control. I want something that's going to be a little bit more powerful, create more speed itself, instead of me having to swing harder. Yeah, um, one, of my, one of my other favourite players is team, and I just sort of, when I hold this racket, I feel like I'm trying to play like him. So, uh, Pretty nice, looks great. Yeah, I think it's a really nice looking racket. I'd definitely buy it purely on looks, I think. Yeah, if it's just on looks, it's one of my favorite ones. Yeah, I still think that's a fair price. If it's a racket that you like playing with, I think I'd definitely pay 210 pounds for it. I just wasn't particularly for me. Probably compares to most sort of rackets at that sort of price uh, nowadays, so um, I think it balances quite well in terms of that sort of price range. 